What could have been? Look well, who's left. This, uh, if there is a man who knows perfection, <laughs> we've seen it so far this year yeah, in Fort William. And yesterday for semifinals, it he wasn't looked even the happy same. with it. Everybody was tight and close, and then Lo came down and was like, whoa. So this could be a whoa. huge run. We heard Finn say it. He knows there's more time left out there. So that is, uh, if somebody's going to go get it, Loic will be the guy. Self-proclaimed, said he was struggling this morning with the wet. He wasn't too sure, squidding around. I was going to say, the more the track's drying out, the more this is going to kind of start to play into his strengths. Being the last guy down the hill, he definitely put himself in the right spot today to give himself the best possible track as it's drying out a little bit every time here. So it's going to be tricky for him in the bottom. I know he would prefer it to be a little drier, but he's definitely got the skills to make it happen. And he's up at the first split, so he's this up is at the going first good split, already. So here we go, he's 0.1 of a second up. Loic Bruni is on one here. He put in a heater yesterday to take home the semifinals. What can he have in store today? He wasn't happy with his semifinal run yesterday, but today is where it counts, and this is the final. He goes to inside line. line. Yeah, we haven't seen anybody do that the yet. first rider we've seen to take that line. Now pay attention, because this is what Loic... Loic Succeeded at yesterday. He was off the main line. He missed the bumps. He missed the roots and he was accelerating where other riders were getting caught. That line at the top is a prime example of low oh, Bruni. High in the grass there too. In early on the form. pedals. He's lost a little bit of time, That's surprisingly. Right. Everybody's losing time to Finn in that second split. Somehow he laid down something incredible, but he is right there. And I would guess he is not going to give any more time away on this motorway. You see him manualing onto the deck there, staying nice and low. Super low, taking advantage of that electronic suspension, that locking it out, making it stiffer. Means the bike accelerates forward a little bit easier. It doesn't absorb all the bumps quite so much. And it does it electronically. So we don't have to think about it. One button on, one button off, and Couple away we pedals. go. Yeah, real light on the bike Ooh, here. Getting here we those go, pumps. Here we go, here we go, <laughs> This is going to be tight, man. All right, we're point oh, three up. into the bridge, and he's up. six up into the woods. He's point six up off the motorway. Coming into the steepest section of track. Oh, man. Just greases, absolutely grease that. <laughs> greases the, one of the most technical corners on the track. He's Ooh, just got a bit wild. unsettled here. He needs to relax. Yeah. 170, there, I believe it. Little Huckabuck gapping into that. He's going for it. I haven't seen Hook be this aggressive in the no. mud for a while. He's always so composed. He's charging here, and he needs to charge. He knows he needs to push. Yeah, smart there, just kind of regathering himself. He's smart, though. He'll know where he can push and where he needs to kind of be patient. Now he's got that anticipation going on. Watch as he anticipates the around. next oh, section man, of track. Oh, man, extending, too. Clean here around that corner. Loic Bruni is 1.8 seconds up in the steepest part of the track. He's charging to that massive gap. What's then? He just hit his electronic suspension again. He is paying attention here. This was one of the key parts yesterday. Got to be careful down here. We've seen races thrown away in these last two turns, but I don't yes. think Loic's going to do that today. He's not going to do it today. He hops over the ruts. He accelerates even faster. The first rider to be up on the grass. Loic Bruni to the line. An Looks absolute good. display. What does he have? Loic Bruni with a 305.5. Wow. What an exceptional run from the man himself, our overall World Cup Series leader. Loic Bruni claims the win here at Leo Gang. An exceptional style. Look at the swagger of the man. <laughs> That'll do it. Woo! What a ride out of Finn in second, too, after overcoming the injury. That was exceptional. This is becoming a theme this year, yeah. Aaron. We've seen this Locky from Lowe. on the podium. Wow. What a run. He said well. he's worked on his headspace this season. He wanted to focus on the times that he struggled when it got wet and it got weird. He said he lost a bit of focus and he paid attention to that this offseason and it shows. Yeah, if there was a couple of little weaknesses in his game, he has been answering those at Fort William on that track and in the mud here today. That is... Uh, that spells trouble. That he spells doesn't have trouble. very many weaknesses, so wow. he's figuring them out. He's, I mean, he's going to be tough to beat this year. It's going to be tough to beat. And Finn, that's an exceptional run for Finn Isles to be right up there, second place to his teammate without having a race run all weekend. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we say thank you and goodbye to Aaron Gwynn. It's been a pleasure to have you in the booth here today. Yeah, thank you, guys. Awesome to be here. We'll see you at the next one.
Wow, what a race, what a ride and a performance from Loic Bruni. Wow, look at this. Aggressive, controlled, precise, charging the track, anticipating what's coming and leaving not one single stone unturned. Loic Bruni claims the victory here in Leo Gang for round three of our UCI Downhill World Cup Series. He slaps the perfect line the entire way down the track here to claim that hot seat and the fastest time from his teammates' hands. Wow. Luca Shaw, what could have been. Luik Rooney, exceptional from start to finish. Precise and calculated. Look at the focus in the man's eyes. They'll be happy with this for him and Finn to be on the podium. One, two.